Hi guys, this is Claire Hudson of Waller Play Designs and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to create a 3 over 1 RT or a 3 over 1 right twist cable. And if you take a look at my little swatch here, you can see the cable, it's a little difficult to see, but right here we have the series of twisted cables that are crossing over the right side of these cables. So in order to create that, I'm going to show you how to do this with a cable needle and without, just to speed it up and make it a little easier for you. So we're going to be placing our cable. Actually, let me work this first one. Okay, we're going to be placing the cable over these four stitches. So you can see we have a purl, then a twisted knit stitch, a purl, and a twisted knit stitch. And what we're going to be doing is placing these three stitches, the twisted knit, purl, and twisted knit, on the other side of this purl stitch. So in order to do that, you would put your working needle to the front, and normally you would slip the stitch that you're not working to your cable needle and hold it to the back, but we only have one. And if we did that uh, using just a straight cable needle, it would probably fall right out of our stitch. So instead, we're going to place or slip it onto our right hand needle, and we're going to slip the last three stitches that are going to be cabled onto our cable needle and hold that to the front. Now we can place that first purl stitch that we slipped back on our left hand needle, and then we can pick up those last three stitches and slide them back on to our left hand needle. So I hope that makes sense, but essentially we just reoriented our stitches. So we've already created the start up to our cable. We have the twisted knit, purl twisted knit at the beginning of these four stitches in, in front of that purl stitch. So now we can simply work them. So we got a twisted knit, purl, twisted knit, and a purl. Oh, try that again. Okay, so that is our 3 over 1 RT or 3 over 1 right twist cable. Now I'm going to show that to you guys without using a cable needle. Okay, so I've worked in my pattern up into the point that I need to create that three over one right twist again. So we're going to be placing it right here. These three stitches will be crossing over the front of this first knit stitch. So to do that without your cable needle, you're simply going to take your right hand needle and slide it through those last three stitches, just acting as if that was your cable needle. Now you're going to grab the first knit stitch, you're going to pinch it, slide it off the left hand needle, and now you're going to remove the left hand needle from the stitches you placed on your right hand needle. Now you're going to scoop up that knit stitch that you pinched with your left hand needle, rotate around, and place those three stitches onto your left hand needle purl wise. That way they maintain their same orientation. And if you look, we did just as we did before with using our cable needle, we have repositioned those four stitches so that we have the last three crossing over the front of the first stitch. And now we're ready to work them. So we're going to do a twisted knit, purl one, twisted knit, purl one. And we have completed the 3 over 1 RT or 3 over 1 right twist without a cable needle. So that's how you do it using a cable needle and not using a cable needle. So I hope this technique helps you guys out. Thanks so much for watching.